people around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneas might have been the last one. The shame. Hmm. Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Ugh. That's kind of spooky. Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? Vashe? Vashe? Hey, why are you still walking towards it? There might be something nasty in the water. Huh? Hang on. Paimon can kind of hear a voice. It's calling for... Vashe, right? Hey, Traveler? Stop walking! Come on, wake up! <sighs> Vashe, are you... my dear Vashe? No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Vashe? Do you know where my love is? I'm... Wait... Who am I? I'm very sorry, I fear I do not know. My memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide, never to be recovered. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since forgotten? Yes, that is what I was once. But now, I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. I do not know how I came to be like this either. I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water, and then all grew dim. I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure, loved exploring places of peril. No matter where I went, Vashe would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me. And I also loved him equally as much. But now, we can no longer go back. The pain of such parting. I never knew how heavy it could be. No, our reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. The thought of me gives him no succor. So let it lie forgotten beneath the waters. If you meet Vashe, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, losing consciousness, I saw Vashe above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow, such longing. If only I could have comforted him, told him that I did not suffer. Indeed. I had felt a great warmth. Is that what you call it? Dissolving? If anything, I consider it a form of release. It was a state of neither fear nor frenzy, with only an endless peace, like the water still surface. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time and only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. Farewell, then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember, if you see Vashe, Tell him not to seek me out any longer.
god. It's a whole army of Gardamex. Chlorand? I should thank you for lending us your sword there, Clorand. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? I... followed you. It seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking, is it not? Mr. Callus's last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. He would do the same. Were he alive today? Do not speak of my father! Sorry, demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Clorand, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Sorry, I... did not consider your feelings. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you, but I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamex? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means, deploying them as a private force of sorts. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula's league, then? Yes. Be careful, and do not act rashly. I will continue investigating, no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clorand. But if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Right. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. Demoiselle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. I know, I just... She's... Ugh. Oh, thank goodness! Paimon thought we were done for! Those Gardamex came out of nowhere while you were unconscious, and Nadia and her gang saved us! And there was that champion duelist named Clorand who came out to save us, too! We got lucky there. Paimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. Oh, <laughs> come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victim. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. It will take... Fifty years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. 
If it were me, I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. <laughs> All right, you two. That's enough. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Huh? Really? Paimon contributed to that? Oh, Paimon's even more amazing than she thought! Yes, all thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. Uh, how did that help? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. That the Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky. Fanta only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I... So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the Primordial Sea? Yes. So if you hadn't drunk that cup for me... Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we speak for saving the boss. Huh. Really? I sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate. But whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger, and hurried here as quickly as I could. But... why would they go after us, too? All we did was defend Linny and Court and help clear his name! Oh, now we're caught up in this mess, too, aren't we? Well, you did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of, and almost got their name in the process. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Well, it can't be a coincidence that the Traveler fainted just now. He said that he heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too! But it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to Hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. New intel? While you were out cold? Ah, uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? Oh, that is important. Vache, that name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. Could he? Yes, thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. Oh, you mean you'll help us investigate? Well, you did say that our farewell meal didn't really count. That means we're still part. And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not gonna let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. You are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. <coughs> you talk too much. <sighs> well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? I'll arrange accommodations for you. We also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. But we'll take that one step at a time, I guess. Don't worry, you two. With us around, our base is definitely secure. <laughs>